Good evening. Welcome to People's Choice by Intermountain Healthcare, where we get healthcare executives to guess what the public says about healthcare topics. I'm Craig Karchner, and I'm joined today by Mark Breesacker, Mark Probst, and Chris Wood. So, tell us a little bit about yourselves, gentlemen. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm the executive lead for the iCenter project um, here at the Cerner Health Conference. Okay. I'm having a great time playing this wonderful game. It's, it is a wonderful game. We're looking forward to it. Mark. I'm also Mark. I'm the Chief Information Officer at Mount Healthcare. Awesome. Great. Chris Wood, uh, CMO of iCenter Innovations. Great. So, let's get down to the game. You remember Family Feud? This works very similar to that. So, you're going to guess what the top answer is when we interviewed the public about various healthcare topics. So, first question, we interviewed 50 people and asked them the question, what is your biggest concern about the security of your health record? <laughs> Chris Wood has signaled in first. Chris? That was very fast. Your um, biggest concern about the security of your health record? Hackers from Europe. Hackers from Europe? Yes. Judges, hackers from Europe. Ah. Wow. Sorry, any other guesses? Mr. Probst. When I had my last colonoscopy. When, when I had my last colonoscopy, what does uh, the survey say? Accidental mix-up. Okay. I'm not sure how that'll This is rigged. Mark Breesocker, you have a chance to steal? Uh, that my health information will show up on Facebook. My health information will show up on Facebook. Survey says identity theft. Okay, looks like uh, Dr. Breesocker takes the lead. So, let's talk about this a little bit. Jokes aside, what is the biggest concern? This is what the public said. What say you? I think everybody wants to know that they can freely give all of their information to their doctor so a doctor can make a great choice. But that that information is gonna be secure. The challenge is, sharing that information appropriately with other you know, physicians that need to know without letting it go places where it shouldn't be. It's a big challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Judges, can we see what the number one answer is before we proceed? General security breach, it's happened to many other systems. Sure. Such as hackers from Europe. Such as from hackers from Europe. Yeah, maybe he should have won after all. Yeah, he's, he's still trying to win the grand prize. That's right, I'm still clearly. trying to go after that. I see how this is working. <laughs> so how much do you think the fears of a security breach affect the way that healthcare systems do business? Oh, a tremendous amount. Yeah, for, I mean, from a right. cost perspective, all the work that we have to do to actually do the protection. But it also is stopping um, patients and members from opting in to actually share their information because they're worried about the breaches. So it's a big yeah. issue. Yeah, I would agree. I think that from a business perspective, there's a, probably even a larger concern given the regulations, given the fines that we have seen, others who uh, have had breaches, and uh, you know, kind of from a personal level, I, I was probably very much individual, individualized from consumer or patient and their perspective, uh, with some being very concerned and some uh, being fairly willing to share. I think the most important thing is they should be in control of what information is shared and with whom. So when patients indicate a, a fear about a security breach or other security problems, what do you say to them? I, I tell them he's got it all under control. <laughs> well, Way to pass the buck, what do you say? I, I really believe we are doing a lot to protect that information and we will not share it with anyone that they don't give us explicit um, permission to do that and that we need that information. If we're gonna provide appropriate and good care, we need that information. So, you know, everything comes at a risk. I think we've managed this risk pretty well, and uh, we need that information to provide the kind of care that they deserve. And a lot of people don't realize that there is constant vigilance within the system. There are teams of people that are working to discover the new ways that people are getting at information inappropriately, and they're trying to build uh, ways to prevent that from happening again in the future. So that's constantly going on. Um, but as you pointed out earlier, there's just a wide variety. I have, as a physician, I have people ask me questions through social media. And I immediately say, no, hold on. I give them a phone call and say, I don't think you wanted to do that, you know, mm -hmm. because you're sharing with everybody. You know, that's an interesting question because we've found that consumers prefer communicating with their physician via text or social channels. That's natural and normal for them. Yes. So when they push for that sort of interaction around protected things, HIPAA containing information, what do you tell them? 
Well, it's one of the un unintended consequences of the security law. So, for example, I have a friend who was stung by a bee on her hand. She took a photo of her hand and posted it on Facebook and said, Chris, what, what do you think? Well, uh, if, the, if the laws not being what they were today, I could probably just respond. It looks like a bee sting. You're probably fine to stay home and take some Benadryl. But I'm giving medical advice in a social media format. It's just completely inappropriate. So I have to call that person and, and tell them, not only do I not give them that advice based on that one photo, I recommend they go see their physician. And so it, it kind of pushes us to maybe levels of care that are not appropriate and a level of expense that isn't appropriate. That, that's not intended in the privacy law, but it's, it's something that happens regularly. But it does suggest we have a lot of education to do. We do. With our end users. Yeah. I mean, and what's the best way to do that, Mark? I think through, well, we have all kinds of media to do that. I think the one-on-one -on -one interaction between a clinician right. and a patient is probably the where it's going to stick the best. Good. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I do feel that most people with a, with a little bit of a very brief explanation, understand that, that we're doing everything we can to protect their information. It's not risk-free. But when they see the value that we also get from being able to share their clinical information with the consulting physician, or uh, we've received information from someone else that they've seen, they do also see the benefit of, of that. Great, really good thoughts. Thanks a lot for the discussion, gentlemen. And that was People's Choice by Intermountain Healthcare. Thanks for joining us.